So now that um, Elon Musk canceled his uh, Twitter, obviously, acquisition, it seems like the only platform that is going to have, you know, no bias, that's going to allow you to, uh, you know, basically ex- exercise your First Amendment rights or freedom of speech is going to be true social. So this could have, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer, but this could really help DWOC. Like Elon Musk just did a big favor for Donald Trump because, you know, when he was going to purchase uh, Twitter, I really know for a fact because I've been reading so many articles about this and I, I've heard Elon Musk speak about this. He's a big believer in the First Amendment, and I think he was going to really change uh, Twitter for the better, and Twitter was going to become less biased and really give you the opportunity to express your First Amendment rights. But now that Elon is out, Twitter will most likely go back to its, you know, pretty much not allowing free speech, you know, not allowing um, whatever they feel is appropriate or not appropriate, you know, in regards to world events and politics, which which brings me back to Truth Social and DWAC, okay, DWAC. Um, it seems like it's going to be the only platform that's going to allow you to exercise your First Amendment uh, rights of f- freedom of speech. This might have a very, very positive effect on DWAC. And I am keeping my eye, I, you know, I very closely on it. Um, but of course, there's risks. And like I said, I am not a financial advisor. My biggest, uh, you know, priorities are AMC and GameStop, okay? But I also do feel I have a responsibility to bring this up to you. So it's your decision if you want to jump in uh, DWOC. It could, be, it, could be a, it could be a very, very hot ride, okay? Because I think Elon might have just, uh, Elon Musk might have just did a major favor for Donald Trump. But again, don't listen to anything I say. Not a financial advisor. I'm an entertainer.